Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. So today we will discuss one lead code problem. The problem number is 152. That is maximum product salary. So we have to calculate the maximum product in a salary. We will be given with the array and from there we have to find a salary which has the maximum product. So how to do that we will check next. So before that you can check in the lead code. This is the problem 152 maximum product salary. So what is said here, the input will be one array and we have to find the subarray which has the maximum product. So here if you look, the output is 6 because 2 into 3 is 6 and apart from that, if you multiply with any other number that will be negative because 2 into 3 into minus 2 will be negative and 2 into 3 into minus 2 into 4 will also be negative. So if you alone take 4, that is also less than 6. So our answer is 6 here, that is the highest product we can get from this subarrays. Same goes for example 2 also. This is the output is 0 in this case. So now I will take a big example and then we will discuss on that. Okay, so here I have taken one big array and it has combination of various kind of numbers that is positive number, negative number and 0. So if you have done this uh, maximum sum subarray problem which is also known as cadence algorithm from there, what is the different in this case? So the different here is we have to handle the scenario of both 0 and the negative numbers. This is the two kind of number which can create problem for us. What is the problem with 0 is whatever uh, product you are carrying forward, if you multiply it with 0, then it will become 0. So it will become 0 continuously. And the problem with negative number is if negative number is present in odd number then your solution will be negative. But if negative numbers are present in even number then it will become positive because if you multiply a negative number with another negative number it will become a positive number. So we have to handle this two scenario where negative numbers are there and zero are there. So now if you look at carefully, here in the index 4, 0 is present. That means we are sure that either we have to find our solution from 0 to 3, this range, or from 5 to 7, this range. Because if you if we take 4 or means if we include 4 in our subarray, then obviously the result will be 0. So either we have to check from 0 to 3 and from 5 to 7. Now from 0 to 3, we have two negative numbers. That means the ultimate result we can get as positive 2 into 3 into minus 1 into minus 4 that will be uh, 6 into 4 24 but in this case odd number of negative number is present that is minus 2 only so in this case if you multiply completely then it will be a negative number maybe in that case we have to take 5 into 3 that will be positive and that will be the maximum one so whenever we are getting like negative numbers and zero, we have to handle that scenario. So the first approach what we can take is a brute force approach where we can take two for loop and we can extract all the subarray present in the or all the subarray what we can form using this array. Then we can multiply the elements of that and then when all the uh, product will get and we can compare between them and we can get the result. But that will take one square of time. Now we have to check if we can solve this in linear time. So if we have to, if we can traverse this array once and then we will get the result. So while traversing we have to multiply and go forward. So when we will multiply and go forward that time we have to take some decisions. That is either we will include this number or the previous product or we will take this number only. Means if you see from 0 to 2 if we multiply 2 into 3 will be 6 then 6 into minus 1 will be minus 6 but in position of 2 if I have to check minus 1 is better than minus 6 right so we can include minus 1 in the result no need to carry minus 6 so this kind of situation will come and we have to handle that for that purpose we have to take help of few variables and I will draw a table now and there I will run you through then it will be more easy to understand. 
okay so now if you check here i have taken uh, one table and i have defined few variables here so here in current you can check this is the array okay my input array and we have two field one choice one and choice two and in below we have three field maximum positive maximum negative and maximum product so as we are starting from this particular uh, first index then our choice will be nothing means we can omit this one and maximum positive we can take the first number itself and maximum negative also the first number and maximum product is also first number then we have to start from here so what we can do here is this current number we can multiply with the maximum positive and maximum negative and that will be our choice 1 and choice 2 so if we multiply 3 with 2 it will become 6 and choice 2 will also be 3 into 2 6 now we have to select the maximum positive here which one the maximum between this three number so the maximum number between this three is six and the maximum negative will be the minimum number between this three that is three in this case and now maximum product will be maximum between this one and this two then it will be among the comparison will become two six three and the maximum will be six so we got our new max product that is 6 I will run till here you just follow then I will explain what is happening behind the scenes now for minus 1 6 into minus 1 that will become minus 6 and 3 into minus 1 will be minus 3 so now what is the maximum number between this 3 that is minus 1 and maximum negative means the minimum between all these three that will be minus six now the maximum product will be maximum between this and this two that will be six only okay so before proceeding i will just explain what is happening behind the scenes so if you check here two three minus one so till if we, my choice is minus one then that time what will be the maximum positive number it can contribute that is minus 1 only because if it is taking 2 into 3 into minus 1 that will become minus 6 if it is 3 into minus 1 that is minus 3 so the highest number till here it can contribute is itself that is minus 1 and maximum negative number what can be possible that is complete product 2 into 3 into minus 1 that is minus 6 okay so till here then minus 1 and minus 6 is there so the maximum sum it can provide is minus 1 so in this case it is better to take 6 that is the till now is 6 is the maximum product okay so we will just carry forward 6 only so here I just did a mistake it will be minus 4 not 4 okay so now if we multiply minus 4 with minus 1 that will become 4 and minus 6 with minus 4 that will become 24 now what is the highest from here that is 24 and what is the lowest that is minus 4 now what will be our maximum product that is maximum between 6 24 and minus 4 that will become 24 now we have to check for the choice 1 and choice 2 in this case of 0 so maximum positive is 24 that into multiply with 0 is 0 and maximum negative also will be 0 so what is the maximum positive here 0 and maximum negative also 0 that is and what will be the maximum product in this case the previous one will be the highest so 24 now we have to go for minus 2 so minus 2 into 0 will be 0 from 0 to minus 2 will also become 0 so then uh, maximum positive will be 0 but maximum negative will be minus 2 in this case and our maximum product will be 24 only so now maximum 
choice 1 will be 5 into 0 that is 0 choice 2 will be minus 2 into 5 that is minus 10 okay so now uh, the highest maximum positive is 5 in this case and negative is minus 10 and the highest one is 24 and here choice 1 will be 5 into 3 15 then minus 10 into 3 that is minus 30 the maximum positive will be 15 and maximum negative will be minus 30 and highest between all this thing is 24 so the highest number we got as 24 and this will be our result so this will be our result in this case so just go through it once then you can solve any problem so now we can do an experiment here if we make this number as 4 instead of minus 4 then if we run in our mind then I think 5 into 3 15 will be our highest number because this part will be minus 24 so if we make the minus 4 as 4 then 5 into 3 15 will be our highest number so we can check for that so till here whatever number we have calculated we can delete okay then we can again start the calculation from here so 4 into minus 1 will be minus 4 then minus 6 into 4 will become minus 24 so the highest between all is 4 lowest is minus 24 and the maximum will be 6 only then 4 into 0 minus 24 into 0 both will be 0 and 0 and maximum positive will be 0 negative will be also 0 and highest will become 6 only then 0 into minus 2 it will be 0 here also it will be 0 and maximum positive will be 0 and maximum negative will be minus 2 and here the maximum product will be 6 then next case choice 1 and choice 2 will be 0 into 5 0 minus 2 into 5 will become minus 10 then uh, maximum positive will be 5 maximum negative will be minus 10 and the maximum product will be 6 only and then next time 5 into 3 it will be 15 and uh, minus 10 into 3 will be minus 30 so maximum positive will become 15 and maximum negative will be minus 30 and the product maximum product will be 6 15 and minus 3 highest one is 15 so 15 will be our result so this time it is calculating correctly so 15 will be our result so i hope this part is clear so now we will do the coding now we will start with the coding so first thing what we can check is if uh, the numbers length is uh, equal to 1 then we have to simply return the first number that is 0 or else what we have to do is we have to define the variables one is maximum positive that will be our numbers 0 position we can assign initial then maximum uh, maximum negative we can check that will be also numbers 0 we can assign initially then we can take one current variable which will be 0 which will just keep track of the current number and then uh, integer uh, maximum product so which will give us the maximum product as a output at last so we can initialize it to 0 then we can take two variable one is choice 1 and another one will be choice 2 ok now we can start our loop so we can start from 
second number because uh, we just initialized everything uh, to number 0 so we can start from number 1 index so then it will go up to uh, one length plus plus now the current number will be our nums 0 and our first choice will be the max positive into this current number and choice 2 will be maximum negative into current now we have to check for the maximum positive okay so initially we are doing this but uh, next onwards uh, the maximum positive will be math.max of what so math.max of this current number or max of this choice 1 or choice 2 if you sync with the example what I have shown so it will be a maximum between current number choice 1 and choice 2 that will be your maximum positive and in similar fashion uh, the maximum negative so our maximum negative will be what math dot main same thing but it will be math dot main in this case so you have to minimum between current choice 1 and choice 2 will be your maximum negative now what will be our maximum product maximum product will be between the maximum positive maximum negative and the maximum product earlier right so if it is greater than the maximum product or maximum positive or negative then that will be our new maximum product so what we can do is this max condition i can copy here and it will be maximum product maximum positive or maximum negative so it will be a choice between these three then end of the loop if i just simply return the maximum product so that will be our result in this case we'll just run the code to check if we have any compilation error oops it is showing some error where i did the mistake oh sorry i have to take number i here okay now submit the solution yeah so it is running so that's it about this maximum product subarray uh, and i will github link of this code i will put it in the description Thanks for watching.